invocó nos majestés a clarina lege muy bien glad ya sé muy bien glad ya sé y yo sans fe pensé oh me creo yo me sé oh jueves fuera antes Oh, jueves fuera antes, sus tú en vogir, jueves me sus tú en vogir, o a las que así es tú que da, sus tú, sus tú. Ibland när jag är på ett möte och jag upplever en religiös ande. How many people know? How many people can recognize a religious spirit? Hur många kan uppleva en religiös ande? Yeah, religious spirit will look at you like this. En religiös ande. Normally standing up there like this. Man står där med armarna i kors. The face is stone. Och ansiktet är som sten. 
and especially if there's a, a, a controlling uh, uh, pastor or something like that. Och speciellt om det är en sån kontrollerande pastor. I love to go to churches where there's controlling pastors. Pastorn han står där med armarna i kors och tittar på dig. And so what I do when they hand me the microphone. Så när jag får mikrofonen. See, I can't do it with this one very well. Nej, jag kan inte göra det med den här. But, but when they hand me the microphone. Så när de ger mig mikrofonen. I can tell the spiritual temperature of the church. Så kan jag förändra den atmos- atmosfären i kyrkan. So what I do is they give the microphone like this. Yep. It's so to be hit and like that. As if there's something wrong with the microphone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so the person at the sound desk is going, oh, and he's doing this and he's doing this. And I say, yes, that's, the, that's okay. It's still working now. Uh, can you... Han gör så ljud så det ser ut som det inte fungerar överhuvudtaget. Och då blir han eh, ljudkillen eller ljudtjejen här alldeles förvirrad. And then the controlling pastor would go oh, 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 like that to the, uh, the person on the sound desk. Och så blir pastorn eh, så nervös och, och pekar och grejer med killen vid ljudbordet. And I love it when it happens. Och jag bara älskar det. Have I... Done that in your church, Dan? Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> but I have to remember. I have to remember. <laughs> and then, and then, when it gets really bad, when it gets really bad, I get the microphone and I go. <laughs> it's serious. I do that. I don't want to be in a church <laughs> where it's all dry and miserable. Vem vill vara i en torr kyrka? Wouldn't you like to be in a church, Daniel, where when 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 everybody's dancing on the seats? Daniel, du vill väl vara i en kyrka där alla like dansar that? på sätena? Do you speak the, and do I need to speak Italian? No, well, no, no, no. I don't want to just show off. I love it when there's liberty in the church. Yeah. I don't mean that people should fall around drunk and that this silly thing, but I love it when there is real freedom in a church. And when revival hits this nation, you won't know what you're doing. When revival hits this nation. In fact, there's a man that I know in, a, a, a pastor I know in Denmark. Jag vet en pastor i Danmark. I won't tell you where he's from because this is being recorded. Ja, var det där? Men jag var försiktig för det här blir ju inspelat. But his name is Preben West and he's from Korsö. Det är Preben, han bor i Korsö. And I said, I've got a, I'm, I know what I'm going to get you for Christmas, Preben. This was during his meeting. Det här var under mötet och sa jag, jag vet vad jag ska ge dig i, i julklapp. I'm going to get you a shredder for your program. A shredder. A shredder is if you have anything like uh, a letter, you want to shred, tear, tear. Ah, okay. Zzz, zzz, en dokumentförstörare för ditt program. <laughs> and this is what we're going to need. Och det är vad vi behöver. Because either the Holy Spirit's in control, or we are. Vi ska vara under den heliga andes kontroll. L- listen to you pastors tonight. Who do, who do you want to be in control? You? Or the Holy Spirit. Vem vill du ska vara i kontroll ikväll? Pastor eller du eller den heliga ande? Amen. Are you sure? Är du säker? Because I'm hoping he's in control of this meeting tonight. I'm hoping he's in control tonight. Yeah, jag hoppas verkligen att han kontrollerar här ikväll. I was in a meeting just recently in the west of Norway, far west of Norway. Jag var långt väster i Norge. And the people veckan. there were just sitting there. Quietly. Människor bara satt där helt tysta. And I thought, what am I going to do with these people? Jag tänkte, vad ska jag göra med de här människorna? They're not like the Swedish. You know, de är inte som svenska. I've realized this. Jag har upptäckt det. Stan, Danish people and Norwegian people are not like the Swedish people. Jag har observerat att danskar och norrmän är inte som svenska. Norwegian and Danish will sit there like that and watch you sweat. And what you work up. Yeah. Danska, danska och norrmän de sitter där bara och tittar på dig och låter dig svettas. Swedish people would nod and they would respond. Ja, svenska, de nickar ju för att visa att de är eniga. 
So, so I was trying to get a reaction from this group in Bergen, and John was with me. Jeg var sagt at få lidt reaktion fra den her gruppe i Norge. And I was telling them, uh, well, I waited for the right opportunity, and, and suddenly a lady said to me. Og jeg ventede bare på rette tilfælde. She was at the back. Og en dame er der bag, længst bag. She said, "Can I ask a question?" Så frågade hon, "Kan jag få fråga en fråga?" I said yes. Ja. She said, "Can you speak higher, please?" Kan du tala högre? Higher, please. Kan du tala högre? I said, "Pardon." Så vad då? She said, "Can you speak higher, please?" Hon frågade igen, "Kan du prata högre?" I said yes. Hon sa ja. And then I said, "And the Lord wants you to know." Then <laughs> <laughs> I I put my voice higher. Yeah, and the Lord wants you to know. <laughs> Because in England there are two words for higher. Yeah. One is speak louder. Another one is to raise your voice in a higher tone. Så so, på engelska så so, antingen talar man högre eller så reser man sig högre. No, 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 no. Och hon hade det like this. Nej, nej, nej. Would you det. speak high? And uh, well, anyway, just it, it just confused them. <laughs> Tonight, uh, we I have kväll. a group. No, stop it. Otherwise, I have to ask. <laughs> you're not here to be. You're not here to be funny. We are here on a, a very serious matter. Det är väldigt seriöst här ikväll. Lord, I just come against the spirit of joy. Jag var going mot den handen av glädje. Lord, would you do something about this spirit of joy? Lord, vill jag vill göra någonting. Lord, you are interrupting the meeting. How dare you? Hur vågar du här jag störa det här mötet? Is that what it's like? We sit in church like this. Vi sitter i kyrkan där. Your head's on fire. Vad du säger? Ditt hår brinner. Isn't it sad? Är det inte tråkigt? My wife tells me I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> Min fru säger att jag är en riktig trubbelmakare. I've always been I I haven't always been a troublemaker. Men jag har inte alltid varit det. But now a troublemaker working on working for the Lord. Nu är jag en uh, trubbelmakare som arbetar för Herren. Oh dear. I was in Amsterdam. No, not Am- I was in Holland just recently. Jag var i Holland för ett litet tag sedan. And I was sitting just on the end of the road just like this waiting to speak. Jag var jag satt här och väntade på att jag skulle tala. Some of you may not understand this. Kanske en del av er inte förstår det här. Some of you will, especially the man from Sicily. <laughs> Speciellt vår man här från Sicilien. And a demon walked along the aisle. Tack. And stood a, a demon. Aha, en demon vandrade förbi. Walked along the aisle where förbi. I was sitting. Förbi. And förbi stood and started doing that to me. Och han började titta på mig. I knew he was there. But I didn't pay any attention. Ja, jag brydde mig inte om honom. I knew he was there. Jag visste att han var där. And there were other people in the church who were there at the same time. Och det var andra människor. Saw him do it. Det var andra människor i kyrkan som också såg det. I'm so, I I'm not going to give you any attention. Jag brydde inte mig om att ge honom någon uppmärksamhet. Listen, I'm not crazy. Men jag är inte galen. My wife thinks I am. Min fru brukar tro det. Uh, my daughter thinks I am. Och det är min do- uh, det dotter. When we called Ruben, do you remember Ruben that was transported into the meeting? This vi, is in Spain. I asked, var, God to, I asked God to transport a man into the meeting. So jag, frågade, jag frågade Gud om att transportera en man in till mötet som inte var där. Som heter Ruben. I don't know whether he told you that not only was he transported into the meeting but his motor car was outside in the car park. Ja, the inte, 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 inte bara det att han hade blivit transporterad in på mötet men hans bil hade också saying, kommit. Who will uh, believe with me that God will transport Ruben into the meeting? 
Men när jag frågade om det var någon som ville tro med mig om att Gud kunde transportera Ruben in på mötet. And the team started counting the towels. <laughs> och mitt team började räkna taket, <laughs> takbräderna. <laughs> det är sant. And, but, and the Lord said, och Herren sa, I said, okay then, Lord. Okay. So I said this a, a second time. Who will believe with me that God will transport Reuben into the meeting now? He needs to be here now. Och andra gången så frågade jag, är det någon som vi tror tillsammans med mig om att Gud kan transportera Reuben in här nu, därför att han behövs här just nu? And then they started looking at the floor for any Och alla började titta på, ner på golvet. Counting the nails in the... Räkna alla spikarna. And my daughter was saying, to, she told me afterwards, she said, Lord, he's gone too far this time. Och, och min dotter talade till Herren och sa, nu, nej nu har han gått alldeles för långt. It's not gonna happen. Det kommer aldrig att ske. And he's gonna look an idiot. Och han kommer se ut som en idiot. Listen, I don't need to do something wrong to make my son, I don't need to do something wrong to, to make, not to look like an idiot, to look like an idiot. Jag behöver inte göra något speciellt för att se ut som en idiot. I don't need to say something wrong to prove to be an idiot. Jag behöver inte säga mycket. And so she said, she said to the Lord, he's really done it this time. Nu nu har han gått för långt. Nu har han gått alldeles för långt. Nej, det här. Calling Ruben in. Han kallar på Ruben hit. And he's 40 or 50 uh, kilometers away. Han är 40 50 kilometer härifrån. And apparently John, John who's on the team, told me. Oh, John was there also. He said, "That's it." Ah, that was it. What was it? He's gone too far. He's pushing it too far now. Han pressade alldeles för hårt. But God wants you to press on. Men Gud vill ju att vi ska pressa på. That's how He knows He could trust you. Så han vet att han kan lita på det nästa gång. You have gång. to build up a relationship with God du måste... so that He could trust you to do the little things. <laughs> han måste bygga upp ett förtroende så han kan lita på dig att göra den lilla saken. Like for instance, <laughs> when I told the when I told the wind to stop. Du hör för för ett litet tag sedan när jag sa till vinden att stanna. And it stopped. Och det stannade. And when I told Ruben to come. And he did. Och, och när jag sa att Ruben skulle komma, och han kom. There are little things like that. Bara sådana små saker som det. <laughs> we're not in Copenhagen. We're not in Denmark, are we? We're in. Nej, vi är, vi är inte i Danmark we're, we're, eller hur? One of the team called me. I think it was John that Nej. called me. Det var en i teamet, John, and he says, som ringde. Get ready to raise the dead. Han sa, at this weekend we were in Copenhagen. Han sa, var redo att väcka upp de döda. Den här, den här helgen. Yeah. So I took some people and we went to see that mermaid thing. They know so, the mermaid yeah, yeah. in Copenhagen. Vi var, vi var ute i Köpenhamn och vi var med en grupp där för att se på den här uh, jungfrun. Eller var, ja, för jungfrun. Mm. Wonderful sculpture. Has anybody seen sculpture. the sculpture? It's a wonderful sculpture. A fantastic sculpture. A wonderful sculpture. Ah, yeah. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought. I first saw it. They they haven't done the feet very well on that. De har ju inte gjort fötterna speciellt väl på den. Because it's a fish and it's a mermaid. I didn't realize it didn't have feet. Alltså, kommer jag på so, att det var ju en jung, said, en uh, sjöjungfru som inte har fötter. Weekend, be careful. Watch out because I believe God's going to you're going to raise the dead this weekend. Men alltså, han ringde och sa du var, se upp Now, du kommer att väcka upp en död den här helgen. Out on some little rocks into the harbor place there, isn't it? It's in like on some rocks. Men alltså den sitter där ute i, i vattnet och på några stenar. And then there were these little Japanese people and Chinese people climbing over the rocks. Och det var massa japaneser där och kineser och tog en massa bilder. And I was truthfully, I was honestly watching them. Och jag, jag tittade på dem istället. Because I thought one of them was going to fall over. <laughs> jag trodde någon av dem skulle falla ner i vattnet. I thought one of them was going to die. And och jag trodde nästan att en av dem skulle dö. And I was ready. I was ready. Och jag, och jag var redo. You didn't know that, did you? 
I was ready. Jag var redo. Jag stod där jag stod där och spanade på dessa. If I'd have been a young Christian, I would have put some oil on the. Jag har varit lite yngre kristen så jag kanske skulle varit och helt ut i dalja. But we got to be ready. Vi ska vara redo. Because if the Lord can trust you in the little things. För det är då Gud kan lita på dig i de små sakerna. Now forget the point I was going to make, so we'll go on from there. Um, jag glömde det var jag egentligen ville komma till, men vi går till nästa. Stand up, please, the group that's from Gothenburg City. Is it from Gothenburg City? Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. Okay, then. How far away is it from the main city? How way? How Hur långt far är det is från Göteborg? No, okay. 40 km. Okay, that's far enough. Okay. If you like to stand. Kan ni vill ni stå upp? Can you tell Chris your name, Pastor? Because he wants to know your name. I only know you as Numa's dad. Elf. 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 Alf. 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 No, not Alf. No, Alf. Alf. No, Alf. Alf. You are Alf. What? Elf, Elf, look, I told you, it's Elf. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your ears out, John, it's Elf. Yes, sir. We didn't have time, you know, they said, could we, because they're leaving at nine. De måste åka klockan nio. And this prophecy is going to take an hour and a half. Oh, anyway. den här profetian tar minst en och en halv timme. No, it's not going to take. I said, wait until we get here. Um, <laughs> what I saw was there were people in your church, you were surrounded by people in your church. Jag ser att du är omringad av människor i din kyrka. And what they were doing, they were all looking out there like this. Och some were looking that way, some were looking this way. Och det var människor som they were looking in håll. every direction. De såg åt alla håll. Rather than looking at you. Istället för att se till dig. And the Lord is saying that it's time to bring direction back to the church. Det är tid att få uh, tillbaka riktlinjerna i kyrkan. To you as a leader for that church. Jag ser på dig som ledare för församlingen. It is not time for you to retire, to resign or to rest. Det är inte tid för dig att bli pensionär eller dra tillbaka. It is time for you to take the steering wheel and focus on the direction that the Lord is sending you. Det är dags för dig att ta styrningen och dra ut riktningen. At the past of things, how they used to be. Du har människor som ser tillbaka på det som har varit. And you have people looking at the future without any idea of of how it should be. Och människor som tittar framåt utan att veta vad det handlar direction. om. Men det är tid But för you, riktlinjer. As the leader of that church. Och du som ledare Now, för den samlingen. You're the, seat, you're the pastor and these are the leadership team. Och det här är hela ledarskapet. Because you're not all pastors, are you? No. Nej, du är inte pastor allihopa. No. You're the pastor. Du är the pastor. You're ja. the pastor. You have to make a decision. Du måste göra valet. Before you return to your church. Innan du återvänder till din kyrka. Are you prepared to let God have full control in your church? Är, är du förberedd på att Gud kan ha full kontroll i din församling? Because if you are willing for, to to let God come into your church and do the things that he wants to do. Om du vill tillåta Gud att göra sakerna på sitt sätt i din kyrka. There will be changes. Så vill det bli stora förändringar. And the good thing is not many people will leave. So don't be afraid. Men inte så många vill lämna. It will strengthen the people when you take back the authority. Människor blir styrkta när du tar tillbaka din auktoritet. It's it's almost as if what has happened is that you have distributed your authority outwards like this. Du har delat ut din auktoritet runt omkring dig. Which is uh, I mean you need to have leaders. Ja, du behöver ledare. It's good. You need det är jättebra. To have godly men and women. Du behöver gu- gudaktiga män och kvinnor. But there needs to be one captain. Men det måste vara en kapten. Who knows the direction. Som vet vad som är riktningen. Det är nu tid att fokusera på hur villig du är att låta människor 
uh, 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 God move in your church. Så nu är det tid för dig att visa hur villig du är att låta Gud leda arbetet. And this is an area where there's been a certain amount of fear in the här området det har varit uh, en, en viss rädsla för. Not just tillbaka. in you but in the leadership as well. Inte bara i dig utan i hela ledarskapet. You have to be you have I I am for unity. Jag är för uh, enighet. I I I believe um, my heart is Mitt that hjärta all är churches join together. Att alla kyrkor ska jobba tillsammans. And they deal with their differences. Och, och, och ändå kunna vara olika. That's one of the hardest things to get in the Christian in in ministry churches agreeing and meeting together. Det är någonting av det svåraste som finns att få kyrkor att samarbeta. Now I don't know what your constitution is at the church. Jag vet inte exakt hur din uh, organisation är. But this one thing I do know that you have to prepare, you have to be prepared if you want God to have full control in your church, you have to be prepared to stand alone. Du måste vara förberedd på att du kommer bli stående ensam om du vill ge Gud all kontroll. And I don't know whether you are connected like the Lutheran church or all connected. Jag vet inte hur du är organiserad, hur du är förbunden till ett annat samfund. I know this thing that God is going to make you the epicenter of what happens. It's not going to happen in Gothenburg city. It's going to be happening where you are. Det kommer hända där du är och inte i Göteborg centrum. I saw him shifting like you get a target in a in a, like a firing range. I saw the arrows. I saw him moving the 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 epicenter away from the city to where you were. Jag ser att Gud har flyttat eh, målet från centrum till där du är. And I heard the Lord say, "This is my vineyard." Det här är min vingård säger Herren. And it's time if you are willing to let go and let God come in. Och, och det vill ske när du är villig och du låter Gud komma in och ta styr. That you see much fruit happening. Du vill se mycket frukt som kommer ut av det. The Lord is saying I am giving you favor in uh, I, I don't know if you have home groups at the moment where you meet in houses but the lord has told me that there are three home groups that there are three groups of meeting places that he is going to change from homes to churches. Uh, Gud säger att det är en favör och det som idag är bara en liten hemgrupp tre stycken hemgrupper som kommer bli kyrkor och församlingar i framtiden. I saw it like a wave if you get a a, a mi- like a pond and you throw in a boulder the r- ripples go outwards I saw life coming out of your church Jag ser liv komma ut ifrån din kyrka. I told you this afternoon or this morning I forget when that 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 your church is going to be a healing center Jag sa innan att din, din församling kommer bli ett helande center and it was mentioned outside where many people will be healed. Och det var också nämnt här ute att det är ett center där många människor vill komma och bli helade. Enemy that there is that, that there are uh, I don't know the area at all but I uh, Jag vet ingenting om området. I believe the Lord is going to start to send you professional people. Men jag jag tror verkligen att Gud kommer börja sända professionella människor. Educated professional people. Verkligen utbildade människor. Who are doctors som är doktor, and nurses. Och 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 I'm talking about qualified uh, educated people. Verkligen kvalificerade utbildade människor. And they're going to come and join your church. Och de vill komma i din församling. And this will be in readiness for when you have your healing meetings. Och det är en förberedelse till det då du ska hålla helande möten. The Lord is saying don't look at the back, don't look backwards when you tried before and it didn't work. Se dig inte tillbaka då du har försökt tidigare och det inte har fungerat. It's time to look forward. Det är tid att se framåt. But this can only happen when you as a leader out when you as a leader say God 
It's not my church, it's not my work, it's your work and you are in control. Det vill hända när, jag, när du ställer dig upp som ledare i Alf och säger Gud, det är ditt arbete, det är du som gör det och det är du som har full kontroll. It's just reminding me that he said to you I promise you there is nothing that I cannot do in your alltså, meetings. Alltså Gud säger, jag lovar dig att det är ingenting som jag inte kan göra. I saw that they had to build. I don't know what your church looks like. Uh, but, 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 the, the, but what I'm seeing Men is something ser. which is that shaped rather than that shaped. Uh, I en, don't know. En rund cirkel. It is like Men. going round there like this. So, so, so the congregation is going round like this. And what I saw was that there were little roller things like gantries and things like this ready for the television cameras. Och det var redan klart för tv-inspelningar. And you will be having live broadcasting from your meetings. Du kommer ha direkt tv-sändning från dina möten. And it will be live internet broadcasting from your meetings. Så direkt sändningar via internet från dina möten. People will not be interested in in receiving DVDs and CDs of the meetings. Folk är inte intresserade av att få DVD-serier. They will want to be there at that time. De vill se det just nu direkt. The Lord has even said to you in the past, I promise you the Shekinah when it comes. I will be there. Jesus said, "I have promised you already earlier that I will be there." There will be people. There will be ambulances coming from the hospital. There will come ambulances from the hospital, bringing the sick. Som tar med sig de sjuka från sjukhusen. As soon as the word, as soon as this live streaming is going onto internet. Så so, när de här direktsändningarna går där på internet så kommer människor också från andra nationer. Desperata. How far are you from that airport that we landed? Hur långt är ni från flygplatsen? 25 to 26 kilometers. 25? 26 That is going to be so busy. Det kommer bli så upptaget och så Because there will be people coming from England and from other countries. Det vill komma människor från England och från överallt. For the anointing. För den smörjelse som finns där. Oh. This is interesting. Det här är intressant. And, uh, the Lord has just reminded me. Gud bara påminner mig. Something similar has happened maybe some time ago. I, I'm asking the Lord, Lord, tell me about their history. And it seems as though there was a time when there was a greater anointing than there is now. I'm talking about some time ago when there was a real move of God and you thought, oh, this is all good, this is all wonderful. It, it may have been around the Toronto time, I don't know. Jag vet inte om det har varit runt Toronto tiden. It was around about 95 or something like that. En eh, kort bölja av väckelse i What I heard the Lord just say to me was tell them about the pool of Bethesda. Pool. The pool of Bethesda. 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 Where an angel came and stirred the water. Där en ängel kom och, och rörde på vattnet. The Lord says, "I will come in my power in your meetings, and I will walk around. And the 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 pathway which I take, there will be people falling and being healed, and they will be without even being prayed for." När vi kommer ner där i dina möten och och röra vi människor, de kommer falla om kul och det kommer hända saker, de kommer bli hela det utan att någon av vi behöver lägga händerna på dem. I'm sending you musicians. Jag sänder musiker who know what it is to worship the Lord. Som vet vad det handlar om att Not verkligen lovprisa Herren. Inte bara spela gitarr. I'm sending you true worshipers. Jag skickar riktiga lovsångskare. Because they will be 
uh, they would be so <laughs> instrumental. They they would be so important. Det är så viktigt. De kommer bli så viktiga. För det är en, en, en rörelse av den heliga ande. See all these things. Alla de här sakerna. And you need to be, you need to think that you will be meeting more than just on a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday morning. Och du måste börja tänka på och planera för att eh, ni ska ha möten fler gånger och mötas fler gånger än bara söndag förmiddag. I'm, I'm hearing in the spirit. Jag hör i anden. I'm hearing the shouts. Jag hör uh, and the rop. cries of joy. Rop av glädje. In happening in your meetings. Så kommer hända i era möten. Glädje. And the Lord is saying it's not going to be anything like you see on the God channel. Och det kommer inte bli någonting av det som du har kanske sett på God TV. The God TV. It's not going to be anything like that. Ingenting som det. It's going to be completely different and it will be helt annorlunda. To helt unikt. Your church. För er församling. See, it will be unique to your church. Det blir helt unikt för er församling. And then I saw that there were people coming from människor. other churches. Som kom från andra kyrkor. And I and I also saw that yes. that there were those who once walked with you. Och det var såna som tidigare har varit med er. And this is a personal word to you brother Alf. Och det här är ett personligt ord till dig Alf. There have been those who have left you. Det finns de som har lämnat dig. They've left in a way which is almost like well we 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 have to agree to disagree. De har lämnat dig antingen för att de är osams med dig eller att de inte är överens med det som du har sagt. The Lord says they will come back. De men de vill komma tillbaka. Humility and repentance. De vill komma tillbaka och be om förlåtelse. And the love that there was in the first place will be rekindled. Den första kärleken blir vill bli upprättad. God is also saying that now I don't know where you I don't know where you are lo- location wise but there's it's it's almost as if God is going to arrange it that that it will be easier to get to you by transport. Oh, which okay. is like there's a bus route or a train route or something like that where God is uh, there's planning permission about to happen where it's easy to get to you. Det är, det är en planering på gång som kommer göra att det blir väldigt lätt att komma till det. alltså nya transportvägar som ska öppnas upp som uh, gör att det blir lätt för människor att komma till. I don't till understand that but I know that that's what men, God is saying. Men det är någonting som Gud verkligen säger. Is there need it? För ni behöver det. And the Lord is saying uh, there is faith oh This is interesting. Det här är intressant. I was only joking when I said it's going to last an hour. Eh, ska jag nog inte när jag sa att det skulle ta mer än en timme. But God's obviously got something to say. Men Gud har alltid någonting att säga. I don't know how this happens. Jag vet inte hur det här händer. But I, I got to word this properly. Jag måste försöka I don't know where it's noga. coming from, but I know what it's going to be. I don't know vara. whether it's from the community, because I know you have something community. here called community, don't you? I don't know yeah. what it is. Or it's going to be from central government or Det local från. government. I don't know what it's going to come from. Or it could be somebody that that may be just very rich. I don't know, but God is going to be releasing houses and property where you can bring the women that He was talking about today that have been abused, where there be a shelter alltså, Gud for kommer women. Lösa ut, se till att ni får hus, lokaler, möjligheter där ni kan låta människor bo som har blivit missbrukade, som har blivit utnyttjade och som har upplevt hemska saker. 
Där, och jag vet inte om det är från kommunen eller om det är från landsting eller om det är någon rik som kommer ge det här. Men det är, Gud kommer förse er med det ni behöver av lokaler. I don't know how it's going to work, but I know that there will be houses. Jag vet inte hur det kommer fungera exakt, men ni and kommer ha hus. And there will be hus. places of shelter. Och det kommer vara ett, ett, ett plats av beskydd. Have, let me ask you a question. I know this is a very silly question to ask. Det här är en liten, en, en, kanske lite löjlig fråga att ställa. But have you got many Muslims where you live? Har ni fått många muslimer där ni bor? Nej. Nej. Inte så många, men några stycken. Because God has just told me also. Gud sa precis. Oh. That there, there is even a place of safety for Muslims who get saved in this time. Det ska bli en plats där också And det ska it's not where säkert. you are. It's a far. It's a way. It's some distance away. Ska vara plats lite avlägset där de kan is, få gömma is, sig en period. It's like a farm. It's like a, God's releasing like a farm property or something like that. Vi ger någon typ av en farm. And they, these Muslims God. that become born again. Det är just, det är just muslimska eh, på nytt födda they kan vara under en period. Where they are protected from their family. Där de är skyddade från sin familj. Will want to kill them. Ja, som vill ta livet av dem. See, such is the favor. <laughs> en speciell eh, favör. I saw that you I don't know what size car park you had. If you have a car park I don't know. But what I saw was, was there were a number of minibuses. Men det var massor av bussar. You know what a minibus is? Some that takes about 15 people. Ja, en buss tar ju 15 personer. 15 children or in what we do. We used to have an eight-seater little Toyota minibus. Yeah, but we could have a Toyota Altima Santos. <laughs> oh yeah, cram them in like this. We tricked in so many that it went. I saw God is going to be blessing the youth work, and I saw that there were minibuses that were being provided. Oh, God will be seeing that young people's work. Where you go out and you bring them in. Young people are coming. Åka ut och nu kommer också uh, bussa in ungdomar till församlingen. There is a man, I think it's a man that is either with you or coming to you that, man, that has a transport company. Det är en man som antingen är i er församling redan eller som kommer att komma till er församling som har and en transportfirma. And he will maintain the minibuses and he will pay for their petrol or their Och han vill ta hand om alla de här minibussarna. See these are things that may not be there now det kanske inte kommer bli där på en gång that god has told me is what his plans are men det är vad gud säger är hans plan now i know everybody oh, i would imagine that everybody in sweden is very wealthy they Nej. don't need any food jag vet att alla i Sverige väldigt, har allt vad de behöver. I can see that the, I don't know whether it's in Sweden. Jag vet inte om det är i Sverige eller. But I saw that God will give you a project. Gud vill ge ett projekt. Where you are feeding people and clothing people that have nothing. Then he's going to help people who don't have anything, but food and clothes. Africa. I'm talking about Europe. I'm talking about Africa. I'm talking about Europe. That's these are some of the things I'm seeing, but it is dependent on how much you allow the Holy Spirit to have control in your church. Men det handlar om hur mycket vill du låta en helig ande ha kontroll i din församling. I don't know what this is. Jag vet inte riktigt vad det här är. But I saw Men jag ser. Whether you have this already, I don't. När du har allt det här. First of all, what I saw 
Först av allt som jag såg. Was that there was a block, there was a shower block where you had showers where people can have a shower. Så det var ett en plats där med duschrum och så vidare. I thought what is it you know? Yeah. Why is it? I don't I don't understand this but what I'm seeing is this that there are people that are coming in that will have a shower. Det kommer människor som behöver dusch. So it's almost there are two things. First of all, I believe that God is going to release a sports facility for you where alltså, there where where there will be people who could do sports, football and things like that. And they would be able to have a show. That's one thing. Den ena saken är att jag tror Gud kommer att se till att ni får en sportsanläggning. The second thing is I saw that you were doing like an internship for training, spiritual training. Not Bible study or things like that, just a, ty a yeah. typical Bible school. Inte but this was direkt, more than that. Inte direkt en bibelskola, men en, ett träningscenter. Where you had a residential training du har center. människor som kommer in och bor för en period och blir tränade. I don't know how this is going to happen. Jag vet inte exakt hur det här ska ske. I know it's happening in Langeland. Jag vet att det händer på Långeland. It, Isn't it in in uh, Denmark? I Denmark. The same things happening there. They got everything there. ready, just waiting for the people. What? Just waiting for the people. Allting är klart. Bara vänta på folket. So it depends on how willing you are. Det handlar om hur villig du är. Hur villig du är. Does this mean to say that you have to go in and say you out? You, you're no good. Out. You, out. You don't have to do that. Det handlar inte om att du bara ska gå och peka ut folk och så sända ut dem. If you say, Lord, it's no longer my work. You, I am responsible to you. It's all about you. And I'm talking about the whole leadership as well. Ja, här tar jag till hela ledarskapet om att you need to be ready for three more pastors. Ni måste vara klara för tre nya pastorer. När ni bara säger, är, vi är villiga att göra det som du vill, heliga ande. You'll be the senior pastor, for as long as you want to. Du vill vara seniorpastor så länge du önskar. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You need, there will be there will be another three pastors and they will be going out and there will be a full time missions director who will be paid full time and they will be arranging the mission trips for people to go out to places like Romania and Slovakia and places like that God will put it on your heart and the finances that will come in will be being sowed into in good soil. Och de, de, de finanser som kommer in som de blir sådda in i en god eh, jordmån. <laughs> oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thomas mummy. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Come out. You don't have to. You don't have to come out. I can just I can yeah, I can make you look silly there just as well as here. <laughs> <laughs> This woman has given me so much encouragement since I've been here. Hon har verkligen uppmuntrat mig sen jag kom här. God has used her. Har verkligen, Gud har verkligen använt henne. To take away my fear för att ta, of having ta, an operation. Ta iväg min rädsla för den operationen som jag gör. Something happened today. Någonting See, hände I'm going to have an operation maybe next month or something like that. Jag ska operera nästa månad. She said something today when all of a sudden it just clicked. Och hon sa någonting idag som fick det bara säga klick. And I knew I had nothing to worry about. Och jag bara visste att jag visste att jag inte behövde vara rädd för någonting. So I'm so pleased what you did. That was yesterday. 
I guess so glad. John and Chris were saying, we could see on your face, it was of a sort of, like this, it was a sudden, yeah, wasn't it? So, this is what I believe the, the Lord, is. When, when Tommy said that you were offered jobs or something like that, looking for jobs, and you said no, and, and unless he's lying, I don't know, he might be a good liar. <laughs> but he was saying this, that you were offered jobs, and you kept saying no, you kept saying no, you kept saying no, until the right job came along and you said yes. Hon har tackat nej till ett antal arbeten uh, right? som jag berättade och sen så nu kunde hon säga ja. I said to Tommy today. Men jag sa till Tommy idag. I had a word for your mummy. Jag har ett ord till din mor. And this is why I believe God's plan is for you. Och som jag tror är Guds plan för dig. I saw you were being headhunted. Du du vill bli uh, jagad, du vill bli uppringd. And I saw that you that you began your own company. Och jag såg att du startade ditt egna företag. And that God had favor upon this company. Och att Gud gav favor över det här företaget. And that people were saying rather than us going through all the channels where you are now. Och istället för att gå igenom alla de vägar som du använder idag. Can you, you know, we would rather come to somebody that we know and that we can trust. Så vill de komma till dig, så för de vet att du kan, de kan lita på dig. So I believe that God has given you an entrepreneur, an entrepreneurial spirit. Gud har gett dig en entreprenörs ande. That what you touch will be favor. Vad du än rör vid ska bli favor. And you will own this big company. Och du vill äga det här företaget. That would not just be for Sweden. Och det ska inte bara vara i Sverige. It would go out sweet outside Sweden. Det också utanför Sverige. I saw that you were own. Oh. Jag såg. This is this is getting crazy. Det här låter lite konstigt. I saw that you were selling, selling. Now, I don't know how this works. Du säljer någonting. Franchises. Du, du på franchisings kont- kontrakt det är andra som driver du bara står bakom. For care homes as well. For care for the homes. sick and for the elderly. Ah för sån hem för sjuka och gamla. And for nursing homes. Och, och, och uh, vårdhem. That you had a program that was perfect and people and and Och du har ett program som är perfekt. I believe God will release these these companies to you. Och Gud vill förlösa det här företaget till dig. And you, and, and I believe that God will bless you in that area as well. Och Gud vill verkligen välsigna dig på det området. You're not too old for this to happen. Du är inte alls för gammal för att det här ska ske. This could all happen within a week or two. Det kommer hända inom en vecka eller två. Because people can come to you and say look we have this nursing home and we just can't keep it going because we don't have the qualifications and we haven't got the skills. Det vill vara ett sånt uh, vårdhem som verkligen behöver det och de vet inte hur de ska ta hand om det och de vet inte hur, hur, det ska få, hur de ska få det att fungera men du kan gå in där och, och få ordning på det. Then at the same time somebody will say to you. Och samtidigt vill någon säga till dig. We have money to invest. Vi har massa pengar att investera. Home. We are looking for something which is long term and building up on that. Och vi vill investera i någonting som är långsiktigt. It can in a very short term. Det kommer kunna hända i en väldigt kort tidsrum. I know that God wants to bless you. Jag vet att Gud vill välsigna dig. away my fear. Därför att du tog bort min rädsla. There is such a thing as a prophet's reward. Who's ever heard of a prophet's reward? Det alltså det finns en en det finns en a prophet's reward. När du när du välsignar en profet så får du en välsignelse tillbaka. This is what a prophet's reward is in the simplified way. Det här är en profets och välsignelse. I was in Denmark. Jag var i Danmark. We went and had a tea in a garden. Vi var i en, en trädgård och fick lite te. On the tea, there, there was a fig tree in the garden. Det var ett stort tre i, i trädgården. And I really need to have fruit. Jag älskar det frukt. To uh, prevent constipation. Jag behöver verkligen frukt. Because when I come to Scandinavia, när jag kommer till Skandinavien, I get very, very constipated. This is the food you eat here. Yeah. Yeah. You're not translating that, no. praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, your mum knows. Yeah, your mum. And I said, 
listen, um, I'd, is it possible that you could have, uh, um, I, I don't like to ask, I don't like asking for anything. Jag tycker inte om att fråga om någonting. If you have a fig, is it possible I can have a fig? You know, you know, because it would help me. Uh, they said, we have had 42 figs. This is the best season we've had, the best year. 42 figs. 42 figs. 42 figs. Fig, go on, fig. Fig, oh, fig. Yes. And that night they came to the church and they brought some figs to the church. Och de, de kom till kyrkan den kvällen och, och, och hade med sig några fikon. The figs worked. Och det fungerade. When we went back the next time. När vi kom tillbaka nästa gång. I said how are those figs? Hur, hur är det med fikonen? He said I can't believe it. Vi kan inte tro det. So far we've had the, so far it we've had over a hundred figs. Yeah. You have over 100. So the end of the season was 42, but God increased the figs to over 100. Alltså i slutet av säsongen så var det alltså 42 fikon. And the Lord said that is a efter, prophet's reward men, to those people. Efter de hade bjudit honom på det så hade de fått hundratals till. So when you like it or not, över, God is going to bless you for what you've done. Vill väl signa dig. Okay, two kings, and I'll be quick with this. Uh, andra kön, uh, kungaboken. Uh, verse eight. I, I love this chapter. I love this reading. Andra kungabok. Verse. Two kings, chapter six, verse eight. Kapitel sex och vers åtta. Now the king of Iran was at war with Israel. After conferring with his officers, he said, "I will set up my camp in such a place." But the man of God sent word to the king of Israel, beware of passing that place because the Aramean, the Aram <laughs> somebody help me, the, Aramean, the Arameans are going down there. So the king of Israel checked on the place indicated by the man of God and time and, and again Elisha warned the king so that he was on his guard in such places. This enraged the king of Aram. He summoned his officers and demanded of them, will you not tell me which of us is on the side of the king of Israel? None of us, my lord, the king. Uh, uh, none of us, my lord, the king. Uh, uh, no, no, wait a minute, none of us. My lord, the king, said one of, the, one of his officers. But Elisha, the prophet, who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your bedroom. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kungen i Aram låg i krig med Israel. När han rådgjorde med sin tjänare och sa det på den... Och den platsen ska jag slå läge. Sände Guds mannen bud till Israels kung och lät säga Se till att du inte drar förbi den platsen för arméerna ligger där. Och då sände Israels kung folk till den plats som Guds mannen hade angivit för honom och varnat honom för. Och han aktade sig noga där och detta hände inte bara en gång eller två gånger. Kungen i Aram blev mycket oroad över detta. Han kallade till sig sin tjänare och sa det till dem. Kan inte säga mig vem av de våra det är som håller med Israels kung? Då svarade en av hans tjänare. Så är det inte, min herre konungen. Men Elisa, profeten i Israel, meddelar Israels kung varje ord du talar i din sovkammare. People say to me. Människor säger till mig. How is it you know these things? Hur kan du veta de här sakerna? How do you know? I mean, sometimes I phone people on the other side of the world. Ibland så ringer jag upp människor på andra sidan av världen. And I say, you've just been talking about this. Du har just precis talat om How det här. How did you know? Och de säger, hur visste du det? I remember I was speaking in a church in Florida. Jag var talade i en kyrka God i Florida. God told me to go and speak. It's one of our own churches in Florida. Det var en av våra egna kyrkor i Florida. And I want I was going to a ministers meeting there anyway. Och jag var i en uh, ledar uh, möte där. But I wanted to tell them I wanted to come and share a word for the, their church. 
Ja, så jag vill bara komma och dela ett ord till er kyrka. So I f- the, 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 the pastor wasn't there but his wife was there. Pastor var inte där men frun var där. And she said Peter you could come anytime. Please come. Och hon sa Peter kom när du vill. Men snälla kom. I said no I want to prove to you that what I have to say is from God. Och jag sa ja nej jag vill bevisa för dig att det som jag säger är från Gud. And I'm going to tell you exactly what you said to God this morning. Och jag vill eh, säga precis det som du sa till Gud i morgon. Och vad han sa till dig. In reply. Now, I wasn't there. Jag var inte där. I was at home in England. Jag var ju hemma i England. She was in a different time zone, seven hours away. Hon var ju i en annan tidszon. But the Lord told me exactly what happened when she was doing her morning exercise in her gymnasium. Men Gud talade om för mig precis vad hon hade gjort eller sagt när hon gjorde sin morgongymnastik. Um, I said to her, this is what you said to the Lord. Det här var du sa till Herren. And this is what he said to you in reply. Och det här var han sa till dig tillbaka. She said, well, she didn't say much. I, I could hear her crying. Jag hörde inte så mycket och jag hörde hur hon grät. She was just crying, she said. Hon bara grät. That's exactly Ja, men det var ju happened. precis det jag sa. How did that happen? Hur kunde det ske? It's because the the word of God says it says in Revelation I am the alpha I am the omega I'm everything that ever was everything that is happening now and everything that ever will be. Ja, så Jesus säger han eller Gud säger jag har jag är alfa och omega jag har varit och jag är och allt som är och det som har varit och det som kommer att bli. So when we have that relationship through with the Holy Spirit. Så när vi har det förhållande med den heliga ande. I'm here. Well, I'm I'm here. Look, for example today. Jag hör olika saker. I gave a word to a, um, a, a young lady today. Jag gav ett ord till en ung kvinna idag. And even though she did not say a word, she didn't say it here. Hon sa ingenting. I heard what she said. Men jag hörde vad hon sa eller tänkte. When she said it. När hon sa det. She said I'm a disappointment to my parents and I'm a disappointment to the Lord. Jag är missnöjd med mina föräldrar, jag är missnöjd med Herren. And God said you're not a disappointment. Men see, Gud sa God du är ingen, speak, du är inte misslyckad. God mislyckad. shows. God shows exactly what is happening. Gud visar precis vad som hände. It's the same principle that Elisha had in those days precis that is som, operating today. Det är precis så som Elisha jobbar på sin tid That's så är det också idag. That's why I can say. Det är därför jag kan säga. The television, the TV cameras are going to come in. Vi kommer ha tv-kameror. The local radio that's been against you are going to come in and say, can we come and visit you and uh, record a, a meeting. Word is going to get round. That's how it's going to grow. When they see the miracles. I see what is going to happen. Because the Lord is what he was, what he is and what he will be. That's how it works. It's simple. Det är enkelt. If only we have that willingness to vi hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. But the trouble is we don't listen. Men problemet är att vi lyssnar inte. We need to train our ears. Vi måste träna våra öron. And the way we train our ears is to get rid of all the rubbish that's between them. <laughs> <laughs> det bästa sättet att träna är att göra med allt skräp vi har emellan dem. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, how can you use me? Oh Herre, hur kan du använda mig? You see, the king had no idea who he was of the of the relationship that Elisha had with uh, God. Alltså, kungen var inte klar över den relation som Elisa hade med Gud. Just as much. 
oh, I love this. I'm, I'm hearing it first from God, and I love this. I don't know whether to hold on to it or not. Yeah. The king of Aram that was attacking Israel had no idea about Elisha. He didn't know that he had a double portion of, of God's spirit. Just as much as Goliath, when he was looking at David, Goliath. Goliath. Yeah. Yeah, the giant. Uh, when he was looking at David, Han såg på, uh, David, and all David had was a little sling like this. All David had was a little sling. He had no idea. Han hade ingen förståelse. That he was about four seconds away from death. Att han bara var <laughs> fyra sekunder ifrån döden. Och så. This is quite interesting. Det är väldigt intressant. Are you encouraged by what these people are hearing? Honey, no You're not encouraged? She went no like that. I believe that there's a healing center. Whereabouts are you? Where are you? Where are you? How far do you come from? Right. That's Stockholm. good. Okay. No, is that anywhere near him? No, no they're long. Where about is it? It's far away. It's the capital city. It's the capital. Stockholm. In Stockholm. Yeah, the capital city of Sweden. Oh, right. They are outside the second city of Sweden. <laughs> it sounds like God is taking the cities. Yeah. I saw you. I don't know what church you have at the moment, but I saw you in a bigger church. I saw you in a newer church. I saw you in a new church. And it wasn't just it wasn't just a, a church. It was almost like a Bible school. It was a training school as well. And that, that, that you had a group of students that were coming in, and they were they were being trained in the ministry to be pastors and leaders. The Lord is saying your idea about training for the fivefold ministry is from him. And, 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 and you will be training people in the fivefold ministry. And, and I saw on your head, there was a crown on your head, and I asked the Lord what this was. And he said, this is an, this is an apostolic crown. And God is calling you to be an apostle. And, and, and you're going to be one that will go to churches, that will birth churches. Du vill gå ut och plantera kyrkor. Uh, and I saw that the, the Lord was doing all these things. Och jag sa att Gud gör allt det här. And what I was saying to you about the healing ministry that jag jag you om. have, there, there, there is also a real prophetic anointing om det on you too. And the Lord is saying stöd. to me now for you, sister, that you need to write all these things down because mm. there Sister, is a book there allting. that you're going to write and, and it's, it's, all, it's going to be a good seller. It will be a good teaching book. Not det, just a manual. Ah, en, en that's what it is. Book. Ja, years ago, Catherine Coleman wrote lots of books about healings and they were healing testimonies. Catherine Coleman wrote a lot of books about healing miracles and you were doing the same thing. You were writing books sak. about people that were healed in du ska your place. You were writing books about people that were healed in your place. And it will spread out. The Lord is telling me also that there are people in that city <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that are involved in things like Freemasonry and secret societies. And God is giving you an opening for them that they will come to you. The Lord is saying, I'm going to break the neck of sorcery in Stock. Is it Stockholm? Yeah. Now, I've never been there, but the Lord is telling me there's a lot of witchcraft that's happening there. Jag har aldrig varit där, men Gud säger att det är massa häxkraft där. That's right. And through your church there's going to be a deliverance ministry as well. Men genom din kyrka så kommer det bli en, en befrielsetjänst. So I saw this church and it was a larger church than you could ever imagine or even afford. 
and it had an auditorium. Och jag såg en kyrka som var mycket mycket större än vad du kan tänka dig eller vad du tror. And you have to walk a long way to, uh, to get to the front of the church. Och du måste gå en lång väg för att That's komma fram till I, I saw that there were people that were affiliating to your ministry och det är många människor uh, som all over Scandinavia. Som vi kopplar till er tjänst över hela Skandinavien. That's where the apostleship comes in. Det är där apostlarskapet kommer in. Those are just some of the things the Lord showed me. Det är just några små saker som Gud visar mig. I mean, the, I mean we're, we're going to be the, the numbers are dwindling at the moment. The numbers are going down. Ja, yeah, antalet går ner här. In fact, if I talk till four o'clock in the morning, we won't have to prophesy over anybody. Ja. No. Om vi bara pratar länge nog så är det inte så många kvar att profetera över. Here's another thing. <laughs> en annan sak. I just saw, jag såg precis that you had a big, big, big summer camp. Du har en jättestor, jättestor sommarkamp. And there were people coming from all over Sweden, all over Scandinavia and they were coming to your camp. And it wasn't just a weekend thing, it was a long thing. And, and, and there will be many teenagers who will come to know the Lord through your ministry. One of the significant signs in the revival that's coming to your church, and you listen to this as well, um, Gab Gabriella, Gabriella, yeah, listen to this, there will be many young people det kommer bli massa unga människor who will turn from the rubbish they're doing at the moment. Så kommer vända sig bort ifrån all de här dumheterna som håller på med. If you're willing for this to happen, that will turn away from the rubbish that they've been offered by the world. De vill vända sig bort ifrån all det skräpet de blir erbjudna från världen. And this is where you have to train them correctly. Och därför måste ni träna dem korrekt. They they need to know about holiness of life. They need to know about sanctification. These are not swear words. They need to know how to behave. De måste lära sig hur man ska bete sig. The things I'm talking about, they need to know how to grow up in society. De måste få lära sig hur man växer upp i samhället. I saw you that I saw that you had an office block. Du har stort kontorskomplex. And there were ministries inside this office block. Och det är massa tjänster in i det här And office. one of the ministries was was um, um, giving f financial advice to people in business. Ett av kontoren ska ett av kontoren ska jobba speciellt people. för att ge finansiella råd till dem som är And i not people business. who just want to make a profit out of somebody else. Det handlar inte om not, människor som vill tjäna not, pengar på andra. Not with scams. This is just one of the multiple ministries that you will have under your tjänsterna som kommer finnas. Umbrella as it were. Under din ditt paraply. So even if you live if, even if your church is this size and en, there's five people there. Om du så en liten kyrka med fem medlemmar. I'm telling you what God is saying if you are willing. Om du är villig to say lord will you just just take over men bara säg gud ta över i just saw i saw precis not like this i just saw a real grand piano in your church a real piano not electric a real piano in your church and God is going to give you a worship group. Gud kommer ge en lovsång, ett lovsångsteam. That is going to be excellent. Som kommer bli fantastiska. Ända. God's going to give you your own printing. I, I saw you printing your own literature. Gud vill ge dig din egen tryck. You have to go to somebody else and have annan. your literature printed. För att God få is going to give you the capability of printing your own uh magazine du kommer att trycka ditt egna magasin ja egna nyhetsbrev and it's to do with tina it's it keeps coming back there's nothing wrong with 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 older people det är inget fel på gamla människor men det här kommer hela tiden tillbaka om tonåringar 
I do. I love the whole church. Ja älskar so hela kyrkan. I'm not, I'm Alla Men jag bara upprepar vad Gud säger. That's so special in your ministry. Men det är något som är så speciellt. Ministering to teenagers and to young people up to the age of maybe 25 or something like that. Det är något väldigt speciellt i tjänst till att tjäna ungdomar. Mentoring program. So these people when they they can be mentored into the righteousness of God. Som blir tränade in i and Guds rättfärdighet. And you were taking them out on mission trips. Och du vill ta dem ut på missionsresor. And just like I take the team. I mean, I cut, you know, they've improved since they've been on the mission trips with me. And, de, and I've improved. De vill, de vill But I saw you mentoring young people. Jag ser hur du som en mentor I'm för unga människor. About, say, 25 or 30 or 40. I'm jag talking about 4 or 500 of them. Jag pratar inte om några stycken, jag pratar om 4 eller 500 av dem. So I just repeat that. 4 or 500. Do you have 400 young people in your church at the moment? Har du 400 unga människor i kyrkan nu? You need a larger building. Och en stor byggnad. The Lord has just shown me there was a swimming bath and it had two pools to it. There was a big one and then there was a little pool next to it. And, and in the little pool you were doing the water baptisms. You were baptizing in water a lot of young people. Och du vill döpa massor av unga människor. Lots of them. Hundreds of them. Hundratals. You have to have a full-time youth pastor. Du måste ha fyra gånger sett med ungdomspastorer. That'd be a nice job for you, wouldn't it? Var inte det underbart? On the end, as well. On the end. Then. Some of this got a heart for young people. Some of you cares whether they live or they die. Nån som bryr sig om unga människor, om de lever eller dör. I saw that there were nights that you called them um, uh, freedom nights, something like freedom nights. Har du sagt som kallas för frihetsnatt eller freedom night? Oh, see, Lord, send us revival. Herre, send väckelse. We don't know what we're talking about. Vi vet inte vad vi talar om. Freedom nights. Frihet. When the teenagers come, när tonåringar får komma, and you will have in in a space, they will be not in the church. This is outside of the church. Det är inte i kyrkan, utanför kyrkan. The land that God will provide for you. Det vill vara la, uh, you will have a fire som Gud ger in one place, and you will have a eld. big um, metal bin like a uh, måste a ha big stor, uh, dust metall, bin thing, like a dumpster thing. Ja, en, en stor uh, bitta där av ja, metall. And in the fire would go the the rubbish, the pornography, the, the, the things that are attracted to these young people. Alltså and and in the, the bin would go the knives and the needles and the drugs and all these things. All, all the freedom nights. All narcotica, pornography, all. I've seen these things. All the hellscape. Just like Elisha knew what was happening in the bedchamber of the king. Precis som Elisha visste vad som hände i kungens sovrum. What said he just said? Oh, I don't like that. I must tell the king of Israel. Ja, han sa, oh, nu så han hörde han det och sen gick han och talade om det för Israels kung. All this is Allt what detta. God's plan is. Det är Guds plan. And preparation has already been made. Och förberedelsen har redan blivit gjord. He is already sending people in and putting your name on people's hearts to come and join you. Redan har Gud sänt ut så att människor har fått ett namn på sina hjärtan. Now here is a word of caution. A word of warning. Det här är ett ord av varning. Okay. This is a word of caution. Varningens ord. It is your ministry. It is it will be unique to you. Det som du gör, den tjänsten du har, är unik för dig. Don't fall into the trap of letting somebody else hijack or take away 
what God has given to you. Låt ingen, du har alltså fallit i den frästelsen att låta någon ta det som Gud har gett till dig. And I'm talking about youth with a mission, youth for Christ. Jag talar om youth for mission, other, youth for Christ. What's, what, what, what's the one that David Wilkerson had? Teen challenge. Teen challenge. Those were their ministries. Det var deras tjänst. This ministry is unique to you and it's 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 got your DNA all over it. Det här är unikt för dig och det är so ditt DNA över det. If anybody else tries, tries to come in and do what you do, it would not work. If om någon annan vill försöka komma in och göra det som du gör så kommer det aldrig att funka. Because this is what God has called you to do. För Gud har kallat dig till att göra det. Now you can do two things with this. One you can say that's interesting. Du kan göra två we saker med det. Now, we're bored. Vi säger, det här är intress- vi, du kan säga okej, okay, so det här var tråkigt, nu går vi hem. Or you can say, well, okay. Lord, if if any of this is true. Om verkligen någonting av det här är sant. You prayed about it, you test it, you so see it lines up. Det och jag vill testa det. With witnesses with you, if anything begins to develop, you go run with it. Och när saker och ting börjar lägga sig till rätta så börjar du gå med det. Because God never calls you to do anything unless he has already prepared one to pay for it, two to support it, three to get the people there to help you do it and four that it will be a complete and entirely completely successful venture. Gud låter dig. prepared it already. Gud har redan förberett allt sammans. Han har redan förberett människor, han har förberett vägen, han har förberett allt sammans. Det är bara för dig att börja gå i det. Are you still pastoring a church? Du är pastor i en församling. Okay, this is what the, this is what I just heard the Lord. Det här var jag hörde vad Herren sa. He is redeeming the time. Han återställer tiden. And the lost opportunities och förlorade möjligheter that were there because of wrong decisions men som var det men av felaktiga val that you made som du gjorde he is going to redeem those times and he's going to give you another tid. opportunity och ge en ny möjlighet for the blessing and the anointing which he promised that you would have in your teaching ministry för de löften och för det som Gud har lovat dig genom din lärartjänst. So it's all going to be coming and working again now. Så saker och ting ska börja fungera igen. That's that's what I'm hearing from God. Det var jag hör från Gud. Also that uh, it's time to start writing things down. Det är tid för dig att börja skriva ner saker och ting. If you allow him to. Om du tillåter honom. He will begin to show you I know that you have dreams but he will begin to show you other things concerning what's happening in your area where your church is. Han vill börja visa dig saker och ting som händer i det område där du har din kyrka. And he will begin to show you where there are needs. Och han vill börja visa dig olika behov som but finns. But also where there will be crimes about to happen. Och till och med visa dig där kriminella händelser sker just nu. And you will be able to call the police. Och du kan ringa polisen. And say at three o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Klockan tre på onsdag eftermiddag. Someone is going to try to break into that house. Så vill någon försöka bryta sig in i det huset. This may sound crazy. Det vill låta låta galet. But it's happening in South America and other places. Men det händer i Sydamerika och andra ställen. Where God is showing people where. Things are going to be happening. Där Gud visar vad saker kommer att ske. If it's anything, it, it, it just keeps coming back to me. God is giving you another chance, another kommer, opportunity. Det här kommer till mig hela tiden. Another chance. Men Gud ger dig en ny chans, en ny, like ny möjlighet, chance, en ny chans, en ny möjlighet. But I mean, it, it may look as though you're all wonderful and fine, whatever it is. God is going to give you another chance. Allting ser jättebra ut men Gud ger dig en ny möjlighet. Here's another thing. Här är en annan sak. 
I, I asked the Lord about, I just, I just heard the Lord say this. And I, I asked him what it meant. Det. And it's to do with Joseph. Joseph, do you remember Joseph in the Old Testament? Du, kom du ihåg Josef i Gamla Testamentet? Do you remember Joseph that was sold into slavery? Han var såld som slav. And he went to the house of uh, Potiphar. Och han var i huset till Potiphar. And he ended up in the house of Pharaoh. Och han slutade i Faraos hus. Story in the Old Testament. Kommer du ihåg den historien? God says he's going to give you an anointing for the interpretation of dreams. Gud vill ge dig gåvan att kunna tyda drömmar. I've never It's not about us at all. It never has been. Det har aldrig varit. It never will be. Och det vill inte bli. It's all about Jesus. Allt handlar om Jesus. And recently Stan Nyligen. and the worship leader in his church composed a song. Och för inte allt för länge sen så gjorde Stan och hans lovsångsledare en ny sång. Would you like to hear it? Vill du höra det? Stan, are you up for it? Är du redo Stan? I, I, I have to do a video. Jag måste vara lydig. Don't worry, you're only going on live TV. Du är inte på, det är inte direkt. Come and stand, get a microphone or something like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could you bring your guitar, please? A little speed of guitar. Some say, yeah. Hallelujah. If you could just catch the melody. Jesus, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Jesus. 
If I can pray for anybody, I can be then I'll pray Anna. for you, and then we will then, I don't know, somehow we'll work it out that we could prophesy over some of you. Uh, is that okay? So is that okay? I'm ready. You don't have to receive. You can sit down. You can stand up. You can sit down here, you can stand up. You can swing from the lampshade. No, you haven't got any lampshade. You have got lampshade. You can yeah. swing from the lampshade. Yeah, can, uh, yeah. Can I pray for anybody? Can John? I you can a little. Not too far. You may not be able to take the anointing. No, no, you get back. <laughs> so I'm going to come down to you. I don't mess about. I'm going to come down to you. You're in the right place. Du är på rätt plats. You're there for a reason. Du är här för en orsak. Det är en orsak att du är tillsammans med dem. There is a spirit, uh, there is a maturity upon you. There is a mother spirit that's inside of you. Det är en modlig modus. And God is going to use you. There are going to be young women who will come to you in desperate needs. Det kommer unga kvinnor med stora nöden som kommer till dig. And set them free. Och du kommer kunna tala till dem. Och du kommer kunna sätta dem fri. They to you like a magnet. De kommer till dig som en magnet. And like that. And God is going to give you favor. Och Gud kommer ge dig favor. And I don't know why I'm saying this, but God is going to provide you with your own accommodation, and you're going to have everything that you need in that area. Och du kommer ha allt vad du behöver. Du kommer ha lokaler. Du kommer all those things. Och Gud kommer att lägga till rätta allting. All those things. Gud kommer att lägga allting till rätta. And uh, the, you're in the right place. En, en fantastisk plats. Halleluja. Amen. I'm going to come down if I can. Jag kommer ner om jag kan. Are you ready? Är du redo? You sure? No. Är du säker? Well, I don't know. Jag vet inte. If you don't know, well, I'm I don't expect you to know. Do you know this woman? Who is she? Känner du henne? She's your mother. Sister. Yeah, sister. That's, that's, sister that's your that's your sister. This, uh, My Dan's goodness, sister. it runs in the family. Ah, the family. There's going to be no more running away. There are no more. God is your safe refuge now. It's just God. He's removing everybody that you used to run from. He's, he's giving you a from. safe refuge now. <laughs> he's your defender. I don't know why I'm saying this. <laughs> Lord, I just release your anointing. <laughs> now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Is, is she normally like this? Is she normally like this? Is she normally like this? Is it me or is she crazy? Is it me or is it her? I saw you. I I saw you. You you. I saw her. Yeah. You had a big big kitchen. And you were making bread and you were making pizzas and you were making bread or pizza. And you couldn't keep the young people away from your home. Or you couldn't hold the young people away from your home. Your home. Your house. 
<laughs> just a bit more, Lord. Just a bit more. Yeah, me hand, yeah. Amen. Me <laughs> Sometimes I breathe on you. It's not because <laughs> I'm tired. It's because the Lord tells me to. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I just release your anointing now. Thank you, Lord, for his faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name. Has two fast Thank you for his faithfulness, Lord. Has two fast Lord, I can't remember what I'm... Am I praying for your daughter or something like that? Are you got a photograph? Can I be a photo daughter? Have you a picture? Yeah, I have a picture. You can show me. Yeah, no, 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 you can show me afterwards. So you can show a picture afterwards. Yeah. Oh, you're the one that was over there, wasn't it? With the teacher and so on. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Doris or something? Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. No, come on. Lord, I just release your anointing. I have forlost Maria Sam just now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Nothing to be afraid of. Come over here. Här, Things I said to you are going to happen. Det jag säger till dig kommer hända. Who's the woman that had the... the yeah, okay. Well. Anointing. Smörjelsen. In Jesus' name. I Jesu namn. I'm not pushing them. Jag vill inte pusha någon. Jag trycker ner någon. If I wanted to push them, I'd do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Om jag skulle vilja det så gör det så. I'd, oh, I'd headbutt them. I've done that before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, darling. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, Don't panic. Be okay. Oops, Don't oops. panic. Everything's going to be fine. Allting will be bra. Father God, I'd release her <laughs> into, your <laughs> hands. into your hands. In ditt hus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pray for your anointing. Baba, be om din smörjelse. Holy Spirit, Lord, I breathe. Lord, I breathe faith upon her. Oh, we breathe the Lord, I breathe the Lord. Oh, boldness in Jesus' name. Oh, strength and kraft in Jesus' name. Oh, free mode here. In Jesus' name. Nobody else. That's the relief. Free mode here. Good. Uh, we can sit down now. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. I need an extra portion for you. Uh, I will have an extra portion for you. Do you want to play something? Oh, what? Will you play something? I don't. I, I don't know if there's enough there. We don't have no. You've got so big, big area to fill. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Now. Crafty, yes, sir. Now. Holy Spirit. Holy God. Oh. Holy Spirit, just Tilgande. release your anointing. Just read your, release your anointing. Förlös smörjelse. In double portions. Double portion. More, Lord. Mer, Herre. Mother of many. Mor till många. 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 Mother in Jerusalem. Mor till eh, Jerusalem. Children all over Europe. Barn över hela Europa. Children all over Europe. Barn över hela Europa. Andliga barn över hela Europa. Lord, just release this now. Bara förlös det nu. In Jesus' name. I Jesu namn. I Jesu namn. God bless you. Gud vill sina dig. Halleluja. Okej. Okej. I, I, have you come out for prayer or have you just come to annoy me? Come to forburn or just for smörjelsen? Smörjelsen. Smörjelsen, it's the anointing. You said this afternoon that you like to catch fish. You said this afternoon that you like to catch fish. God is going to give you an increase in your ministry. God will. Then not one little fish will be lost. Och Gud vill verkligen låta din tjänst växa. And, and it's, not, it's not just through media that this is no. going to happen. Det ska inte bara vara genom media. But utan du, du ska inte God. förlora någon fisk som du försöker God få på krogen. God is going to take you to different places. Mm. Even to America till olika and places like that. In fact, I'd like to take you with me. One day. Jag ska ta dig med dig en, en dag. Okay. Can you have some fun? Vi ska yes. ha kul. I mean, I just release it. Just release that now, Lord. Thank you for your anointing upon him, Lord. Oh, Lord, I proclaim many, 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 many children and grandchildren 
in Jesus' name. Många andliga barn. Mm. The Lord says I will bring a quick harvest. En, en, and en snabb smörj, I will change eh, the skör. seasons of harvest so that they are not tidsålden. just once or twice a year. Det bara en the Lord says, I will give you harvest day by day skörd. by day by day. Varje dag en stor skörd. In Amen. Jesus' name. I Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to sit down. Because I'm fed up. Don't sit down? Okay then. Will you have a seat? Oh, hello. Do you know these people as well? Yeah. Who yeah. is she? No. Your mother. mother. Yeah. So it's your fault. Alltså det är ditt fel. Oh yeah, you look, this is your grandmother? Ja, det är din mormor, ja. Wow, you look, like, you look like your grandmother. Thank you. Tack. Thank you for your family. Tack för din familj. Amen. Lord, I just release your anointing. Father, I speak healing to this body. Lord, I come again every form of, of, of arthritis, rheumatism, and every other, uh, 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 every other problem. I speak life into her body. Lord, I speak extra life and additional life. Lord, I, uh, Lord, I increase the years. I increase the years, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ah. And you will see your great-grandchildren growing up. I saw an extra two children that were coming. So I'm saying... So I'm, two girls, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, can I sit down? There? I need a chair now. I, think. I need a chair. You're going. You're going home. I don't blame you. I'm sorry. To maybe I can stand up if John helps me. I'm sorry. Are you again? Are you again? Oh, and you? I didn't notice you were there. Okay. Into the background. <laughs> I'm glad you came today. I'm so glad you came today. Just see what the Lord is going to do. So to fix it, honestly. Okay, Lord, I just all I'm going to do is anoint you, Lord. I just release I said, your anointing because I release it now. In Jesus' name. I release your anointing in Jesus, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I just release your anointing in Jesus' name. I speak life into this body. Lord, I speak, Lord, freedom into this body. Lord, I release her, Lord. The things I prophesied this afternoon, Lord, whenever it was, I make a proclamation of these things in her life. And, and it will be as you have spoken. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I saw that... I saw that you were going to bring so much joy to other people. There are so many boys and girls now, as I said, who are looking at suicide and there's so many boys and girls that are even from Christian homes where there is abuse happening in the homes. And you, God is going to connect you up with these people. You are going to have... You're going to be so important to what God is going to do. And this is because your grandmother's been praying for you, and your aunt especially has been looking over you. Especially. Would you like to know his name? You want to know his name? Yeah. Come and I'll whisper it to Come <laughs> But it would be pronounced in the language that you understand. It, was, it means the same thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
I'm getting tired of this now because we want That's to prophesy right. to people. Are you, are you coming? We've got plenty of time for you. <laughs> we have massa tid av dig. You're special. You're special. Lord, I just, wait for it. Wait for it. Vänta, You're vänta, special. Vänta. Are you ready? Wait for it. Hej då, hej då. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket. That's God bless you. God bless you, Tommy. God bless you. Get used to it. No, I'm not used to it. I got rebuked for kissing a man the other day. I said, I can't help it, I love him. This one the person was in the What? This somebody was in the No, wait a minute. If we haven't prayed for her yet. I, I know you, look, you haven't got far to go home. He lives up there. <laughs> Come on, darling. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for the... I thank you for my sister, Lord. Thank you for Lord, all that she's done for you, Father. You are a rewarder of you are a rewarder, Lord, to those who serve you in in the way that she has served you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that oh, I just Hallelujah. saw I just saw finances being released even to the Philippines through your ministry. Oh. I saw outreaches going to the Philippines, and mission trips going from this country to the Philippines where there, where revival is going to come from this country to the Philippines. I just saw it happen, just like that. Amen. Okay. Okay, so now are we going to start, am I, can I release the team? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> come here. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't get up till I tell you to. <laughs> Have you noticed? Uh, it used to be. <laughs> this is just a thought. This is wandering through my mind at the moment. Have you have you noticed in the church? It, it, it's no good just being a pastor anymore. You have to be a senior pastor. Yeah, and then it, 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 it's no good if you're just a senior pastor. You have to be a doctor. Well, you must have <laughs> a doctor, doctor pastor. Doctor and then pastor. it's no good you being just a doctor pastor. Yeah, you have to be a bishop. bishop. And even that's no good anymore. You have to be an apostle. And you must have an apostle also. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? And then it's now is you have to be a senior apostle. And you have to be a senior apostle also. And have you noticed now that you know when when you when 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 you are asking for money, you 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 have to develop an impediment in your speech when you say, oh, and God and 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 God wants God and then God wants this for you to do this. Have you noticed that? <laughs> and have you noticed how you can get the Holy Ghost that sounds like the Holy Ghost? Have you noticed all this happening? It's not necessary. <laughs> you say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Can not say Holy Ghost. You don't need any extra ljud på det. Have you noticed it, Stan? I can't <laughs> help it. I sit there and I laugh. I sit there and listen and I just get it. Sorry about that. Would you like Would you like the team to prophesy over you now? Will you like Will you think om om de andra i teamet profeterar för dig här? Okay then. Okay then. Är det okej att de profeterar för dig? Not an in-depth one where it lasts for 10 minutes or or 20 minutes, just a short prophecy. Bara korta profetier. Right to the point. If anybody wants a prophecy, would you go and sit on that side just over there? Vill du ha en profetia? Sätt dig på den sidan. If you don't want a prophecy, you can join me and I'll go home.